Okay, here we are. It's episode number eight of the SK What's Up show with John and Martin. Tell me, John, where are we today? We're at Barry's shop, and it's taking us forever to get him to come outside, you know, because he's supposedly sick or something. I don't know what's wrong with him. Had my knee replaced. Oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but he's a cupcake right now, but he's here for a little bit. He said, give us 10 minutes of his life. So we're here tonight, checking out all his stuff. And here, I hear a rumor that you got your new nitro system coming. I do. And it's, a, it's an NOS brand. I mean, what are we talking about? No, no. I went back to old school. <laughs> Marvin Miller. <laughs> we are. It is old school, isn't it? Marvin Miller. Was that what you had on your AMX? Yep. Really? First one around Guthrie. I found one out in Minnesota or someplace. Really? Man, I'll tell you what. When I was young, I was probably 13, 14. My grandma would take us because she lived over by the Hard Times Club. And she took us over there to the park, you know, up the street from your house. Mm-hmm. And you had your AMX sitting there, it was an orange one with the boat flake on it. <laughs> and I thought, I was always thought, man, that is, that car was probably one of the coolest cars. It was. It that was, was 30, 30 years ago I lived over there. But you know, well, how young are you, boy? I'm 47. 46. <laughs> yeah, but that car, I remember that, like it was yesterday, that car sitting there, and we go by there, and Amos' mom lived on Logan Street, just, and we go by there, and I'd be like, cool. I, your mom lived right up, or my grandma lived right up the street mm-hmm. from me. I lived at 1536, and she lived in the 1700s. Right, and then Amos's grandma or Amos's mother lived next door to Martin. Yep, long before Martin. And mm-hmm. I'd go over and check his stuff out. I was like, cool, man. Mm-hmm. Had a building out back, and I was inside looking. Not inside, but in the windows looking in. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, cool. And then I remember being uptown and stuff, and I don't know what you said or what was happening, but bear, uh, but uh. uh Willie Gillum and your sister said something to you as you were driving by and your finger came out the car. I don't, know, I don't know what you were trying to say, but it wasn't nice. And I don't know what he said to you, but it wasn't nice. Me and Willie Gillum... Y'all go way back. Way back, way back. Is your sister still live here? Yep, she lives in my folks' house. Uh, matter of fact, last time me and Willie got together, it was uh, Dwayne Jennings in Mississippi brought out that white pickup. Oh, really? That one in Sun Race that had the 400? Yeah, yeah. And he raced my white 66 pickup. Really? Who and, won? Well, Dwayne got me by a fender, wouldn't run me a second time. <laughs> He's like, really? <laughs> <laughs> because he you. was running slicks and I'd run G78. <laughs> so that turned around on you now a lot. Cause how long ago was it when, when you did it to Paul? Oh, many, many. So you kind of got you kind of got your Cummins up there because no because I I thought I did really good I didn't even have headers in my truck oh okay I, and I was running a little old Carter AFB off the AMX really and uh, and that old '66 pickup and Dwayne beat me about, about that much and he got so mad that he wouldn't run me a second I said well what's the matter you, you kind of jumped me off the line and I said <laughs> afraid I catch you next time <laughs> what did you say he didn't want to part of that huh? he was he done mess, he, he was done and all he could do is, <laughs> Running bound. Oh, that's too good. <laughs> <laughs> well, how far a year span was it from when you had your blue car to your orange car? Uh, probably about four years. Really? That was all, huh? Mm-hmm. Wow. Matter of fact, the guy that had bought my blue car had the orange car. Really? And they had it sitting out in the field, and they'd blowed the motor up in it. And it had, what, what did it have in it? 390. 390. Four mm-hmm. speed? No, it was an automatic car. Well, what what year did you put nitrous on the blue car? Do you remember? Uh, I put it in 1978, 79. Now you were one of the first ones to have nitrous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you and uh, uh, the guy with the gremlin. No, Mark oh. had my system. Mark actually had yeah. your system. I had the gremlin. Oh that really? Was your gremlin. I'm the one that built the gremlin. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't need I, I, I forgot obviously. Wow. <laughs> we got a video of the homecoming parade. I don't know what year it was. Mark was in it then. Yeah, yeah, that car. Do you know where he is? Mark Ashley? Yeah, he's living on his mom and dad's home place. Talk to him all the time. Where is it at? Just right over here by... Uh, really? Jerry. I can tell you right where it's at. Mm-hmm. Wow, Jerry. what's he got now? Does he do anything? He's kind of sitting back, uh, living life good. I mean, he's... Really? Uh-huh. Matter of fact, he was on... Uh, he was the guy in Oklahoma City here the other day that went to buy a car that he found on Craigslist, <laughs> and they robbed him. Holy cow. Really? And he chased them down with, with the cell phone and he had the cops catch them. Wow. Well, the, you know, the age-old question. Who really won between you and Paul? 
I had him. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, right? Well, Paul beat me for a long time. Did he really? And uh, <laughs> I went down to Napa and I told Dale that I wanted to go a little bit faster. I wanted to get him uh, nitrous set up. And Dale said, you know, I think he'll come in the other day. And went in and pulled it out. The brochure said Marvin Miller, available through Napa now. Are you kidding me? And Dell ordered that thing in. It was three hundred and forty-five dollars. That's a lot of money back then. A lot of money back then. What'd you Dale. make a week? I was working for BK Daniels, so yeah. I can't even tell you that. Wow, that's a good chunk of money, though. Mm-hmm. From Napa. From Napa. You know, it's just so funny you mentioned that because we was in there talking. Kerry Waddell, I, he was mocking some pistons for me. We we're going to overhaul the this motor stuff and he's micing it and he goes, I haven't used this mic since I was here the first time in like 84. And I, then we got to talking and I was like, you know, I was like, well, Keith was the very first one I bought my very first camshaft from. It come from Cams Incorporated. But it was uh, for a 351 Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Cams Incorporated could take a broken camshaft or a broken crank and they could weld it back together and get it spot on. Re well, they reground them too, man. Make anything you want. Yeah. They did one for me. Some, I can't remember what Had exactly it was. the big K on it. Remember that? Yeah. Big mm -hmm. K. Yeah, and now there's another place down in Oklahoma City grinding camps. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, we couldn't find anybody. We was looking for one to do something. I remember what we was doing something for. Yeah. And we couldn't find one. I got his number in the phone book. Really? He cut one for me here a while back. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, the ones from Cams Incorporated went flat. I don't know if it was up to me or what, but, but it went <laughs> flat. Maybe a little installation <laughs> part deal there. But it was a 351 Cleveland, and he, he uh, bored it and did all that stuff. We were just talking about that, and we were also listening to uh, Love Street by the Doors. So, <laughs> so you know, so Carrie Waddell went back Jack in time. Jack Daniel there or what? What? Was well, Jack Daniel there? <laughs> no, it was at the store. Because <laughs> I was listening on my phone. I was going to show him something on my phone, and, and I had the doors pulled up. It was Love Street, and next thing you know, Carrie Waddell was snapping his feet, and I was like... We got to talk about the camshafts and, you know, but yeah, it's pretty neat though. But I just had to get to the bottom of the, of the Paul Castle. You know, because well, Paul built his motor up and came back out several times trying to beat me, but he just didn't know I turned off the nitrous <laughs> before I got way before the end of the quarter mile and I didn't knew I was about four car lengths ahead of me. So if he could, he could never catch me. Never could. I, I just let off the gas and popped the nitrous off. And, <laughs> and y'all, and you and, you know, uh, what do you call it? Get, uh, Jimmy Christmas. Your brother in law. Willie. Willie, thank you. You and Willie put a Dana 60 in your car one night, right? Mm -hmm. Three nights after I put the nitrous on it. He never knew it. Nobody knew it. Nobody knew it. M we, uh, Mike Decker had a. Really? 426 Sport Fury that somebody had tore the whole front end off the car. And. I went over there and he said, $100 you can have a rear end out of that car. A Dana 60 would fit a, an Amex. That's a really rare car. Really and I said, do you think it'll fit? And it was an inch wider than my car. It was very little then. So, and we got underneath it and pulled the springs apart, pushing our feet together and pulled the springs and dropped in and bolted it down, put a different U-joint in it and away we went. Next, Here comes Paul, huh? That weekend, this, we done that on Tuesday night. I tuned it, got it all tuned out because with the nitrous, you have to run a shorter plug. Yeah. And uh, we got that all set up. And I told Willie, he says, go out there and don't do a burnout because they see you do a burnout, they're going to know something's going on. Yeah. So I just pulled up the line and he was running the slicks and I was running G60 Street Tire. Oh, so he had the slicks. I thought you had the slicks. Uh uh. He had it. Well, that made it even worse, didn't it? Anyway. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> right. And anyway, so. We're going to have to, you know, get him out, see if Paul can figure out what was going on. We're going to have to go, we're going to have to go out to pause. Are you thinking? I'm thinking, yeah. Well, what would he done is in his yard? <laughs> With Barry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's move up a little bit. Let's go out to one of the other buildings and see what you're up to these days, Barry. All right. All right. I got to give Barry a really hard time about this because I don't know nothing about these Volkswagens. <laughs> no, 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 whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Look like a big tractor. All down the road. Maybe I need this sun machine over here to be tuned up with. I don't know. I mean, I see our velocity that uh, you know, 
This is a Volkswagen. That's well, what they said. That that's a two hundred thousand dollar Volkswagen. Is it really? Yeah. Uh, I picked that up over in Stillwater at a. Uh... Well, wait, wait, wait. Hang on a second. Uh oh. What the oh. Hell? Oh. 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 What are you guys out here doing? Really? In the neighborhood. You can't even do no filling, huh? Uh, yeah. We're in the really? Come to check out the old Porsches here. Or a Volkswagen. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 gonna get him all worked up for next year. It's gonna be like the Paul Castle up in here. This one's the best one around right here. Yeah. Well, you know, Barry's gonna get all worked up on me. He's gonna think I'm Paul Castle. He's gonna get all ugly to me, you know? I was hoping Barry came for riding it. Not now, he's all uh, sick. You know? Okay, you got to this weekend. I'm gonna take this one here out. I'm gonna drag your. <laughs> Well, Are you ready? My, I gotta you get got, my car. No, my car put you together. got five days. I need more than that. No, can't do it. <laughs> no, we'll have okay. to put it together so you ain't got no excuse. I, I'm in the number nine spot, ain't I? You are number nine spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the number twentieth spot, I think. <laughs> well, Martin, we'll get Martin. Yeah, but you got these here. This uh, is a really rare car, though. I did see this on. Ray Green had to, had this car here, and I guess. And this one, a, this one's a '62, right, Barry? 1962 Porsche 356. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. What's the guy Porsche guy's name? Porsche. No, the first guy, though. What was his first name? Fernando. Fernando was the biggest yeah, part of this car, right? Right. Right. And they went from there, and uh, Volkswagen or mm -hmm. Hitler hired him to build. Right. The this. Germans. A, the Volkswagen. Right. And that's what that built off is that same chassis. And, uh, all the parts will interchange. You get the body up off the pan? Yep. Really? Cool. Yeah, so uh, we could go doom bugging in a $200,000 car. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Maybe not so well, much, huh? I guess I'm just going to have to cut you right there. <laughs> <laughs> but see, you're hurt, though. So I, I have to be nice to you a little bit. Yeah, you're hurt. yeah. Give you, what, till what, six more weeks or whatever you healed up? Well, I got to March. I uh, okay. can't do nothing until the end. I know, I know. Can't run no foot races. <laughs> oh, no. I got Roger for that. So how'd you know he's out here, Roger, anyway? What did you... Didn't know you was out here. You he didn't? I come see Bear. Is that, is that some special oh, yeah. stuff I've seen being built in there? Yeah, we got some top secret stuff going on. Don't secret. worry about none of that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, they, they say we're going to go to Hawkins Place next, but we have to go at night. Yes, you have to go at night. Only because we, he doesn't want anybody to see no uh, distinguishing stuff out there that people can figure out where we're at. Right. Yes. Yeah, so that's what I've heard. Well, that's the same way here. I don't want nobody out here. Yeah, we left, we had, you we, know, we left breadcrumbs so we can get out of here. We're so far back. <laughs> <here>. <laughs> well, back here, the sheriff don't even come back here. They don't come back here, do they? Uh -uh. I got a couple buried out back here still like that. They still don't want to come. <laughs> <laughs> They've done incriminated yourself with the street racing and now with the dead bodies. I mean, what are we going to do next? <laughs> well, All right, let's, let's go over to the other building. Check All right. It. Let's go over to the other building. Check All right. right. Okay, wait a minute. I was even clueless at the, the Volkswagen Porsche thing. They call Porsche, I call Volkswagen. I don't even know what to do here. Try I don't know what to say, Barry. Try it, TR3. I just don't know what to say about this. Uh, German. <laughs> We're German stuff. Yeah. Okay, I'm, you know, German. And that's what it's all about. I uh, thought everything was Chrysler forever. Well, that was your mistake. <laughs> Is that what the mistake was about? Uh, yeah, you notice on uh, Street Outlaws, the Chrysler had that's what I hear. That's what I hear. That sucks too, you know, because I was really impressed with it. Yeah. Uh, what is this? This is a pretty expensive car, I'm guessing, right? The they are, the more expensive they are? Yeah. This is a okay. uh, Triumph Spitfire that I acquired. And is this your car? Like a seller, or what are you going to do? No. No. It's collect cars. You collect cars. <laughs> oh, we tear things up. I, I know. That. <laughs> That's all we do. We just tear them up on people. Everything's on the back burner until. Yeah, I'm going to be healed up. And then I'll, I'll get back on. Are you, man, are you, are you ever going to get an AMX again? Can I ever shame you into an AMX? I am looking for an AMX now. Just right. like I found the Marvin Miller. It took me a while and it came up and been on Craigslist for three days when I arrived, found it. And, uh, are you going to put it on? If you have an AMX, would you put it on there? Oh, yeah. Would you really? If I found a Gremlin, yeah. it'd be on there. I know where Gremlin's at. I know where Gremlin X is at. Where at? Uh, do you want me to sound TV or are you on the... No. Nah, we better not disclose it right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, and I did pick up a Le Mans convertible today. Well, that's cool. What year? 1970. That's a cool year. It's a super cool year. Yeah. Because I had a... Terry Hamilton, when he died, he left that one down there. That that one that uh, his wife, I can't remember her name, but he was a dentist. Mm. Uh, 
But he had one down there, and she come and got it finally. It was an orange one, and she bought it. P. Goodis, I think. No? Who's Oldsmobile dealership back then? Oldsmobile. Uh, Rebecca. Hey, yes. Yeah. Uh, God. C.J. Nelson. C.J. Nelson. Yeah, I had the C.J. Nelson on the back of it, the metal tag and all that. Well, cool. the Marvel, I, I never knew Marvel Miller was sold through not Napa. I never knew that. Yeah, I would have never guessed that either. Yeah, I, I didn't know U.S. was sold. U.S. Max was sold at Walmart. Yeah, I remember those days. Wow. And J.C. Penney. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, yeah J.C. Penney had and tanks, yep. stuff like that. And, and Otasco, too, right? Nah, the Otasco here, I don't really remember any performance stuff there. Well, I just, you know, there's just only a few people. There's you, and, and I, I don't want to pump you up any more than you are, but you're like one of the Holy Grail guys. <laughs> No. Yeah, you are. You, you and Dwayne, Dwayne Jennings, Dwayne Simrad. I mean, just there's a whole group of you guys that's just. Well, I, Dwayne Simrad and uh, Wesley Bennett. Flashlight. Well, that's what we want to do. We're headed that way. We want to do the other brother too. Wayne. We want to do Wayne too with that with yes, that duster. Yes. Uh, but Wesley Bennett and uh, you say they painted the cars. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Good God. The Beaufort guy. What's his name? No, not no. Roper. Uh, Come on now, what's the guy's name, Martin? I, I, I'm anyway, the same way as you guys. Uh, He's got one guy. Has yeah. one name. Ballinger. Yeah. Ballinger. 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 Yes. <laughs> they, they, they did his car out of his shop. I remember go, walking in and seeing Wesley's car at where, Ballinger. Where Richmond's body shop was at. Yes. See, I, see, me and Randy, I didn't know that's where he hung out at. Yeah. Wesley hang out with Ballinger. They were real good friends. And, yeah. uh, you know... Huh. And then Dwayne Simrad had the, he got Paul 440 RT. Yeah. And before that, he had some other Chrysler. I can't remember what it was. It had to pick up, it had nitrous on it too. He was yeah. One of, That's when the, when the Mexicans had the door fell off their car when they come up to the street race mm -hmm. one night. Martin, you remember that deal? Oh, yeah. We're going yeah. to talk to Tim Husky about that one because he remembers yeah. it yeah. well. But yeah, the Mexicans with the doors are fall off. Mm -hmm. and, and then the, Mitchell. The, and the bolt and the bolt and the Holly Carburetor top secret. We're, we're going to talk about that one later. <laughs> well, Mitchell was down today talking about when Dwayne Simmer had the twin turbos on the Dodge pickup. You remember that deal? Yep. I never know him, but he said it was just, it was fast. And uh, Paul Holderman was yeah. building the Oldsmobile for Dr. Lehu that had twin turbos. Back right then. Uh-huh. And Lehu died, and so that project fell through the cracks. What was part of it? It's gotta be someplace. I don't know who they ended up with it. But yeah, it was a 12, or dual turbo, Oldsmobile convertible that they were building. Wow. And it was being built down there by the railroad tracks. Wow. wow. Okay, we're running kind of long, guys. Okay. All right, All right. really appreciate it, Barry. Well, you come yeah. back and see us. Get day. healed up. Get uh, healed up, and we'll come back out when you can play. Okay, we're, John, I think we're going to go to the, try to do Hawkins next. Yeah, right? Hawkins is Sunday. Like I said, it's okay. uh, pretty well, we're serious. Go, we're going to film it Sunday. you got to watch out what you say. We're going to film it Sunday. So. Yeah, yeah. Th yeah. This, this, yeah, okay. This episode will appear when? Saturday, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Yep. The way I'm right. going to start doing it is the What's Up editions come out Saturday morning or around noon or so, and then the Monday Monday morning extras come out Monday at about okay. 9. And be, be ready for Barry to come back as our visitor like Roger kind of mm -hmm. snuck up okay. on us. We'll do it. And See y'all next time. Oh, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. We got to pay, yep, pay, Go pay the bills. Code. Remember, Black Car Production brought us out here, and they fed us. Barry, you had the hamburger steak, and Roger, mm -hmm. I don't know what you had because you just showed up. Mm -hmm. And we want to thank everybody for Teen Center. <laughs> Down at the Teen Center at the end of the bar. Yeah, right. teen, they, they, they sponsor us. We're going to have some t-shirts. I don't know what else they're going to give us, but yeah. All right. That's about it. See y'all next time. Yeah.